muna. Okay. So, dito tayo sa human behavior and victimology. So, uh, ano na siya? Ganito na yung subject dati. Before, yung victimology, wala kaming ganun. So, ano lang siya? Is, it is a part of the discussion, but in your uh, curriculum, so wala tayong magagawa, no? Kasali na yung victimology mismo na subject mo yun. So, nandiyan naman yan dati, pero ngayon, bibigyan lang ng emphasis. Okay, dito tayo. Okay, so number one, okay, so please uh, read uh, dito muna tayo. Gusto ko ma marinig yung bosses. Uh, Vertodazo, Vertodazo na dyan ka. Sa baba naman tayo mag-start. Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Who is the person who kills three or more persons in three or more separate events? A, serial killer. B, spree killer. C, mass murder, D, homicidal. Okay. So, the question is, uh, who is the person who kills uh, three or more persons in a three or more separate events? So, anong tawag natin dyan na killer class? Again, uh, a person who kills three or more persons in a three or more separate events. Ibig sabihin, hindi isahan okay, na occasion or na event. Sige, what is your answer, class, on the comment section? Okay, so lahat sumagot ha, yung uh, 17 participants natin, kahit ano, Kahit 10 uh, answers lang, okay na. Kasi yung iba na sa work, uh, nakikinig lang yan sila. Okay. So bakit dalawa pa lang yung sumasagot? Si ano pa lang? Si uh, si Ann at si uh, ano pa isa. Okay, saan yung iba? Sige na, sagot na kayo class kasi i-explain na natin. Si Abdul and si uh, si Ann. Hmm. Si Dan. Okay, how about others? Okay, so yung uh, 17 participants natin. Maganda to kasi marami na tayo dito. Okay, so ayan, uh, may sp uh, majority of you answered the uh, spree killer. Then uh, yung iba naman ay si Jong Jong lang yung isa na serial killer. Okay, sino ba talaga? Sinong killer talaga na? Okay, so of course ang sagot natin dyan class, of course that is uh, letter A. Okay, si Jong Jong lang yung tamang sagot, no? <laughs> Familiar ba kayo sa ganito? Na-explain to during your undergrad or hindi? Kaya medyo nagkamali siguro kayo. Okay, ang sagot natin dyan, class, kapag uh, when a person who kills three or more person in a three or more separate events, ibig sabihin yan, ang tawag natin dyan are serial killer. Okay, explain natin kung ano yung spree, uh, mass murderer, and yung carpet na rin. Okay, yung spree killer naman, class, tanda nyo, ang spree killer, a killer of multiple victims. Again, ang keyword nyo dyan, multiple victims so whose murders occurs over a relatively short span of time. Again, in a short span of time, marami na siyang namatay or marami na siyang pinatay. And often follow no discernible pattern. Ibig sabihin, wala siyang sequence o wala siyang pattern na sinusunod. So again, ang spree killer, uh, yung killing of a group of person or persons, of course, multiple victims. Then, of course, nangyari yan in a short span of time. So, yan yung tinatawag na rin na spree killer. Okay, pumunta na siya doon. Halimbawa, may party sa kapitbahay ninyo. Halimbawa, may birthday party. 
Then pumunta yung uh, killer na yun doon. Then in a short span of time, in just 20 minutes or uh, pagpalagay natin in just 5 minutes, binaril niya yung mga nag-attend doon na namatay yung sampo. So that is what we call the spree killer. Killing of multiple victims in a short span of time, that is a spree killer. Then we have the mass murderer or the mass murder na tinatawag natin. Of course, ang tawag sa'yo kapag uh, under sa mass murder, mass murderer. So that is the killing of four or more victims. Tandaan nyo ha, ang mass murder, killing of four or more victims by one or few assailants. Ibig sabihin yung offender within a single event. Again, yan yung tinatawag natin na mass murderer. Ibig sabihin, kapag uh, four or more victims that is considered a ma as a mass murder, one or few assailants within a single event. Diba? Uh, halimbawa, uh, yung tinatawag natin na mass murder, marami nangyayari yan diba, sa Pilipinas class. Yung isang pamilya, yung mass murder. Okay? So pumunta yung uh, killer doon sa, sa bahay. O yung mga... Then, yung uh, member of the family composed of uh, six, okay? Ano ba? Parents, uh, mama and papa. Then, nandiyan yung apat na anak. So, consider din class as a mass murder kasi killing of four or more victims by one or few assailants within a single event. That is mass murder or the mass murderer ang tawag natin. While ang spree killer, again, multiple victims. Ibig sabihin ang dami, di ba? In a short span of time. Okay, so yan. Kapag uh, more than four or uh, four or more victims that is mass murder, kapag speak killer man, kingling of their kingling of uh, paki-off muna ang plus na niyo, ng mic niyo. Nag-i-echo kasi. Okay, ayan, ako na lang nag -off. Then, of course, we have the genocide class. Okay, ang genocide, tanda niyo, that is the deliberate killing of a large number of people. Okay, large number of people from a particular ethnic group or nation. So, tanda niyo, class, kapag ang genocide, that is the killing of a large number of people, particularly the group or yung ethnic group na tinatawag natin. Kapag pinatay mo, halimbawa, pinulmos mo, uh, inubos mo yung isang ethnic group halimbawa sa Pilipinas marami tayong ethnic groups dito kapag pinatay mo sila class that is considered as genocide then kapag genocide class sino yung may jurisdiction over the case kapag na, napatunayan that you committed genocide or you killed a large number of people or a uh, people belonging to an ethnic group or a nation halimbawa yung isang uh, ethnic group dito sa Pilipinas pinatay mo so, sino yung may jurisdiction, jurisdiction over the case? Sorry. Uh, anong korte class ang may jurisdiction over the case? Okay. Uh, any idea on the comment section? Bakit walang idea? <laughs> okay. Sino, uh, sino yung may jurisdiction class? Nandyan, nandyan ba kayo? Or nagahang kayo? Or ano yung nagahang? Yung internet ba? Or ano ninyo? Okay pa ba kayo dyan? Okay, of course, very good. So that is the ICC or the International Criminal Court na madalagpuan natin again sa The Hague, the Netherlands. So yan yung tinatawag natin na genocide. Okay, you killed uh, a large number of people from a particular ethnic group that is a genocide. Again, pag sinabi natin genocide, as a review class or as a summary, that is the deliberate killing of a large number of people, particularly belonging to an ethnic group or a nation. While the mass murder, that is the killing of four or more victims by one or few assailants in a single event. While ang spree killer naman, killing of multiple victims in a short span of time. So yan yung kaibahan nilang apat. I hope nakuha ninyo. Nakuha nyo ba class? Retain? <laughs> Nakuha na? Okay na ba? Yes, coach. Okay, go. Uh, uh, let's proceed now sa next slide. Tandaan nyo, class, uh, i-review nyo to ulit mamaya after natin ma-send ang recordings natin. Okay, next tayo. Okay, uh, please uh, read sa baba tayo after ni uh, Berta Daso, si Sir Lemuel, nasa duty atin, Sir Lemuel. Uh, si uh, Sir Latif. Latif? Nandiyan ba si Sir Latif? Uh, wala. Uh, nasa duty siguro. Uh, how about uh, Judith? Judith Canoy? 
Eh, sorry. Uh, Judith, nandiyan ba? Uh, wala yes, sir. Ay, sige, ayan. Ayan, good. What are the violent acts directed toward a particular, <coughs> excuse me, particular person or member of a group merely because the targets a share a discernible racial, ethnic, religious, or gender characteristic? A. Genocide. B. Apartheid. C. Slavery. D. Hate crimes. Okay. Sige. What is your answer, class? What is your answer in this question? Thank you, Judith. Okay, so lahat ha, kahit sampo class na makita kong uh, sagot dyan, then i-explain ko na agad. Mm -hmm. So tingnan ninyo ang panong, be, para ano siya, diba? parang uh, closely related, but of course, uh, dapat ay eh, ano muna, yeah, analyze ninyo. Okay, so para magkaroon kayo ng idea about the question or the answer. Hmm, sige, uh, dalawa na lang, pulang, then explain natin. Okay, let me see your answer. Okay, so may iba-iba uh, yung sagot ninyo. My hate crimes, so uh, majority of you, uh, sorry, uh, okay lang sir lahat. Okay, uh, majority of you answered uh, hate crimes. Then uh, merong apartheid si Judith Hanoi. Okay, and, uh, and others. Okay, what is your answer? Okay, so uh, the question is, sulitin ko na ulit ha. What are violent acts directed toward a particular person or member of a group merely because the targets share a discernible racial, ethnic, religious, or gender characteristics? Okay, so of course, last, di ba? Ang sagot natin dyan, that is letter D, hate crimes yan. Very obvious naman, di ba? Lalong-lalo na class, uh, very rampant yung hate crimes during the uh, pandemic, you know, COVID-19 pandemic. So every, uh, kaya lalo na sa iba, sa Europe or sa, sa America or sa US, di ba? Very uh, rampant yung uh, hate crimes towards Asian. Kasi di ba, uh, sinasabi nila, kahit hanggang ngayon daw, okay, nandyan pa rin, kasi sinasabi nila that nagmula daw or nanggaling daw yung COVID-19 virus sa sa Chinese, di ba? Uh, sa mga Chinese. So meaning, kapag Asian ka kasi di ba kapag tinabi natin Asian uh, para parehas lang yung features natin Malaysian, Korea, ano and other uh, group of Asian so Filipino. So di ba uh, yung ate ko rin di ba naka sa Europe siya. So sa ano daw uh hinila daw nung uh, ano yun yung Dutch okay sa ano yung mga anak niya kasi ang pagkakalam niya ay akala niya sa ate ko Chinese okay kasi di ba na ano Uh, yung picture namin. So, hinila niya yung mga anak niya kasi akala niya Chinese. So, sinabi na, no, I'm not Chinese. <laughs> I'm Filipino. So, yun. Uh, doon siya nag-stop. Akala niya siguro Chinese. Kasi sa, sinasabi nila that na nanggaling daw ang COVID sa, uh, sa uh, ano, ginawa daw ng mga Chinese. So, that's why every time na may nakakita sila ng Asian na singkit, okay, di ba? Akala nila Chinese na agad. But of course, diba, uh, hindi na natin maalis yun kasi iba-iba naman yung features natin. Kasi mix na tayo, diba? hindi na, wala, na, wala ng pure Filipino class. <laughs> wala, ng, wala ng pure Filipino. So, kaya that's why. Uh, hate crimes ang tawag natin doon. When uh, it is uh, directed towards a group or member of a group, ibig sabihin, parang uh, binubuli or parang dinidiscriminate kapag ganun. Kasi... Uh, according sa ethnic, religious, or uh, discern there is a discernible pattern because of the racial na kalakip or ibig sabihin na tag sila na ganito COVID carrier or COVID uh, kumaga, gumawa ng COVID daw. So that is hate crimes. Nakuha niyo Hate crimes ang tawag natin dyan. Okay. So, <clears throat> yeah. Letter D ang sagot natin. Okay. Then of course, pag sinabi nating slavery, of course, class, explain pa na natin ang slavery. 
So again, pag sinabi natin uh, slavery, of course, uh, under revised penal code, uh, ang purpose ng slavery, of course, uh, magtrabaho ka sa kanya, gawin kanyang uh, sex slave. Okay? So, magtrabaho na walang uh, sahod. So, for, for the purpose of enslaving the person. So, that is a uh, slavery. And that is not allowed under the law. Of course, we already discussed what is genocide, what is uh, apartheid naman. Ito yung apartheid na tanatawag natin class. Ang um, apartheid, the system of segregation or discrimination and grounds of race in the South Africa naman yan class. Okay? In 1948 to... Um, 1991. Ayan, system of segregation or on discrimination. Ibig sabihin, merong division when it comes to their um, when it comes to their people. So that is what we call the apartheid na nangyayari guys in South Africa. Okay? So yun. Nakuha na ba class? Again, pag sinabi natin hate crimes, it is directed towards a group or uh, a group of person or member of a group because of the uh, racial, ethnic, religious na kalakip or natag sa kanila. That's why uh, there is a uh, bullying, there is a discrimination na nangyayari. So that is hate crimes. Nakuha ba? Nakuha rin nyo? Yes, sir. Okay, so yan. Okay, so thank you. So next uh, slide. Okay, dito tayo sa mga key terminologies class. Very important yung key terminologies every time na magkakaroon kayo ng... Um, uh, ng board exam or magkakaroon kayo ng examination. Kasi nung board exam ako, ang dinala ko lang mga key terms every uh, subject area. So yung 36 subject na yun, gumawa ko ng key terms lang. Hindi ko na nilagyan ng mga definition. Yung key terms kasi class, yun yung mostly na lumalabas sa board exam. Yun yung key terminologies na dapat mong mag-focus ka doon. Kasi yun yung uh, nilalabas nila or mag-appear palagi sa board exam. Key terms nga, ang tawag natin ibig sabihin, Yan yung susi, okay? Nang uh, talaga, ta dapat dyan ka mag-focus. Kasi kapag hindi mo alam yung mga key terms na yan, ibig sabihin may problema sa discussion ninyo or may problema sa mga binabasa ninyo. Uh, yung mga students, sabi nila, uh, mostly yan ang mga followers ko, uh, mag-56,000 na yun eh. Um, sir, bakit <clears throat> yung mga dinidiscuss mo, hindi na discuss sa uh, ano sa sa review center namin na na face to face ganito ganyan okay sabi ko uh, uh, hindi naman every review center meron meron silang technique okay that's why iba iba yung ano iba iba yung uh, technique kaya daw uh, parang feeling nila kulang yung mga yung mga na-review nila sa review center nila kasi 2 days lang daw palagi yung ano eh ang lecture tama ba hindi ko alam 2 days lang pala so tapos uh, nababahala sila kasi mostly na napapanood nila yung mga pinopost ko class yung kinakat-kat ko lang ah wala daw hindi daw na lecture kaya medyo na nag na problema sila kung papasaba o hindi, hindi sabi ko hindi wala namang problema doon every review center or every lecturer kasi meron silang strategy di ba uh, katulad sa sa cream coach di ba iba yung attack din namin di ba so uh, Meron kaming kakaiba, okay, na hindi pwedeng i-copy ng, ng iba. So, kaya nga. Uh, kasi, of course, uh, nakuha ko yan sa, sa mentor ko na si Dr. Pecky. Of course, na-meet na niya nila, nila Che. Di ba kung gano'n siya kagaling? Okay? So, gano'n. Yes, sir. Okay, lalo na nung kabataan niya, class. Kasi ngayon, sabi niya, nagre-reklamo siya na medyo na daw. Medyo tumatanda na siya. Pero sabi ko, ang galing mo pa rin, sir, di ba? Kasi dati daw grabe yung ano niya. Yung... Kumbaga, uh, yung sa peak pa siya class. Yung pag yung retention na ganito ganyan. Kaya that's why kapag nasa peak pa kayo, ibuhos nyo na lahat class. Okay? Ganon. So, para ano yan, continue. Then of course class, kapag ka continue reading, kasi masa sharpen talaga yung utak nyo sa akin. Okay? Lahat ng presentation ko nandyan na. So kapag na-encounter ko yung terms, ay yung uh, ano na yan, kapag i-explain ko yan, ang dali na lang kasi na-sharpen na yung utak ko. Then, ang dali kong i-simplify yan. Kaya ganun class, ha, dapat everyday, uh, wag kayo matulog na hindi kayo nakabasa kahit isang term. Okay? Halimbawa, wala talaga kayo sa mood or may times talaga na medyo burnout ka or medyo wala kang gana. But, of course, mag ka muna. Then, kahit isang term lang, ay, yun pala yung apartheid. Ganito, ganyan. Ay, apartheid pala yung ganun. So, okay na yun. Di ba? Then, ba back to, bumalik ka na naman na stronger on the following days. Ganun class, may mga araw talaga ha, na wala kang gana mag 
mag uh, lecture, wala kang gana magbasa, wala kang okay lang 'yan. But wag mo naman hayaan na uh, aabot ng one month, okay? So ang deter ang dapat kaya pala yung sinasabi, convert your uh, worry time to study time, okay? Yan yung ganung class. Uh, imbis na mag-worry ka na babagsak ka, magbasa ka na lang. So yon. Okay, so dito tayo. Pag sinabi natin behavior, of course, it is an act which is uh, observable to a person. So, of course, that is the manner of conduct or one's conduct. So, maganda ba yung behavior niya? So, that is, uh, of course, ma-observe rin natin kung ano yung behavior ng isang tao. Then, true behavior, para makapag-adjust din tayo. So, that is the manner of one's conduct. So, ano ba yung, uh, ano ba, discipline ba siya or hindi? So, that is uh, observable or hindi ba siya mapakali? or wala ba siyang kumaga wala ba siyang disiplina so makikita yan sa ating kanda so uh, so kung uh, sa mga actions natin class then of course uh, human beings that is the intelligent social animals then of course diba uh, intelligent social animals kasi we are far from the uh, animals kasi kapag uh, ano baka kabahan ka na class ha? kapag um, you are not an intelligent social animals. So, baka animal ka talaga. Okay, so kla. Okay, then, uh, of course, uh, we have the human behavior. So, ang human behavior, of course, that is the product of the mind. So, that's why kapag sinabi natin psychology, it is the study of human behavior or it is the study of the mental processes of the person kasi it is the product of the mind. Human behavior. Okay, so next. Of course, uh, ang psychology, of course, the science that studies uh, behavior and mental processes, we already discussed that. Okay, of course, ang expert dyan are the psychologists. Then, ang personality, that is the quality of a person. So, what is your uh, what is your quality class? Ano ba yung mga quality na meron sa inyo? Yung personality niya. So, uh, ang personality niya ba? Merong magagaling class, di ba? Merong magagaling pero walang, ano, walang personality. Kung baga... Walang appeal, di ba? May, ma may magaganda na walang appeal. May, uh, may mga guapo na walang appeal, di ba? So, ganun ang tinatawag natin ng personality. The quality of a person. Okay? A quality of a person. So, merong hindi naman uh, yung wala talaga, pero ang lakas ng appeal niya. Actually, class, napatunayan ko yan kapag uh, sa lecture, uh, yeah, kapag mag-lecture ka, di ba? mas kapag malakas ang appeal mo okay hindi na, hindi sa hindi sa looks ha? okay sa pag ano kapag um, yung style mo class hindi talaga absent yung student yan kung ilan yung students mo nung first day yun talaga yun at the end of the day uh, meron akong nasundan na ano doon sa isang representer sa ano um uh, abogado at doktor pero pagkahapon konting students na lang ang bumabalik we say there is a problem class sa approach okay sa strategy or sa personality niya. Okay, so baka hindi siya ma hindi siya approachable, 'di ba? Lalo na kapag uh, yung lecturer, 'di ba? Um kapag uh, ay sir pwede magtanong, ay hindi. Um uh, tapusin pa tapusin mo muna yung ganito ganyan. Okay. Ibig sabihin class, <laughs> hindi na hindi mo na na-establish yung uh, yung rapport sa, sa kanila, 'di ba? Wala na. Okay, so well, hindi na sila gaganahan sa kasi kapag uh, na-establish mo yan class na ipakita mo yung personality mo ay maganda to approachable siya uh, walang problema sa kanya ganito ganyan uh, kumbaga kahit anong tanong uh, sag sasagutin niya kapag kaya niya so that is the quality of a person na uh, ay gusto namin yung ganong lecturer ay ganun, ayaw namin sir ng ganito kasi ganon uh, ganong class uh, so far lahat ng mga ano ah lahat ng mga pinupuntahan ko ano talaga grabe yung uh, yung feedback tapos nakaabot pa yan sa may-ari ng mga review center na pwede ba ako daw lahat na mag-lecture sa all areas. So, hindi naman pwedeng ganun, di ba? <laughs> so, may naka-ano na tayo. So, ganun class. So, dapat, uh, ang personality niya dapat, uh, ano, uh, lalo na kapag mga mahihiyain kayo kasi uh, hindi na may ibig sabihin na uh, wala kayong ma walang maabot yung mahihiyain. Hindi. Uh, okay na naman yun, yung introvert ka, ano. Pero class, kapag pasukin nyo ang kahit anong ano, dapat, Uh, kahit may yan kayo, i-improve nyo rin. Okay? Kasi uh, ano talaga eh, sa laro or sa in real makoy, kailangan talaga kapa kapala na mukha eh. <laughs> so, ganun ang, ano, ang reality. Then, uh, ang character naman, that is the combination of qualities. Again, that is the combination of qualities that uh, distinguishing any person or class of person. Okay? That is your character. Okay? That is your combination of qualities. Halimbawa, hindi ka masusuhulan. 
that is your character. Okay, so uh, kung baga hindi ka basta-basta susuko, okay, combination of qualities, that is your character. Then, of course, we have the common sense. Pag sinabi natin common sense, ibig sabihin, that is the organization of thoughts. Okay, or organization of thoughts class. Yung tanataw na din ng common sense. Ibig sabihin, kapag hindi organized, yung uh, iisip mo or yung mga thoughts mo. Of course, kapag uh, sinabi mo yan or nag-lecture ka or nag so, nagsalita ka, hindi rin organized. Hindi na rin maintindihan. So, your uh, common sense, di ba? Palagi nila, common sense is not uh, common anymore. <laughs> it's no longer common. <laughs> Kasi uh, those who need it doesn't use it. Okay? Parang deodorant daw, di ba? Ang common sense. Di ba? Very important, class. Naniniwala talaga ako, ah. Kapag okay naman yung common sense mo, tapos nakapagbasa ka sa book, nakapagbasa ka, nakapaghanda ka, ibig sabihin ng class, papasa ka sa board exam. Kasi common sense yung mga tanong sa board exam. Eh. Common sense question, di ba? Uh, very obvious yung tanong niya. Then, common sense na lang ang kailangan mo. Again, pag sinabi natin common sense, that is the organization of thoughts. Ulitin natin. Pag sinabi natin behavior, it is uh, an act, which is... Uh, observable, okay, of course, uh, by our senses, but that is the manners of one's conduct. Then, the human beings, that is the intelligent social animals. Human behavior naman, that is the product of the mind. Um, psychology, the science that studies behavior and mental processes. Personality, the quality of a person. Uh, ang character naman, combination of qualities, uh, distinguishing any person or class of person. Then, common sense, that is the organization of thoughts. Okay, let's proceed now on the next slide. Then uh, we have uh, we already discussed last yung uh, Stockholm syndrome, de ba? Actually, sa uh, dispute, but of course we will discuss dito. So tanda niyo ang Stockholm syndrome. Of course, uh, yung hostages na kadevelop siya ngayon class ng positive feelings towards their captors or towards their hostage taker. Ori tina ten ang uh, Stockholm syndrome. The uh, hostages, nakadepelop siya ngayon class ng positive feelings towards their captors. Ibig sabihin, naintindihan nila kung ano yung uh, pinaglalaban ng kanilang hostage takers. Yan yung tanataw natin na Stockholm Syndrome. Kasi ang uh, Stockholm Syndrome, nangyari ng class eh, in the Stockholm Sweden during the bank robbery. Okay, during the bank robbery. Naawa or uh, naging submissive yung mga hostages towards their hostage taker. Then, ang Stockholm Syndrome class, it was coined by Niels Bigerot. Again, Niels Bigerot. Yan yung Stockholm Syndrome. While ang Lima Syndrome naman, ibig sabihin, the abductors or yung uh, tinatawag natin na hostage taker, nakadevelop naman siya ngayon ng sympathy or awa sa kanilang mga hostages. Again, yung uh, abductors or the hostage taker, nakadevelop siya ngayon ng sympathy or awa sa kanilang hostages Kaya minsan, pinapakawalan nila. So that is what they call the Lima Syndrome. Ang Lima Syndrome, nangyari yan in the abduction of Japanese Embassy in Lima, Peru in 1996. Again, yung Lima Syndrome, nangyari yan sa abduction of Japanese uh, Embassy in uh, Lima, Peru in 1996. Wherein yung abductors or the hostage taker, nakadevelop siya ngayon ng sympathy or positive feelings towards their hostages. Okay, that is Lima Syndrome. Then, of course, we have the London Syndrome. Ang London Syndrome naman, that is the opposite of uh, Stockholm Syndrome or the SS. Whereas, yung uh, London Syndrome, nakadevelop siya ngayon, okay, uh, yung hostage taker, nakadevelop siya ngayon ng harmful and a negative uh, feeling uh, towards their hostages. Okay? Yan yung tanatawag natin na London Syndrome. Again, pag sinabi natin London Syndrome, the hostage taker nakadevelop siya ngayon ng negative or harmful uh, feelings towards their hostage uh, or their hostages. Ibig sabihin, uh, ang pinakadelikado dyan, class, ang London Syndrome kasi ang epekto niyan, minsan, pinapatay nila yung kanilang hostages kasi again, nakadevelop sila ng harmful or negative feelings towards their hostages. So ito yung pagkakaiba class or ito yung kaibahan ng Stockholm syndrome, Lima syndrome and the London syndrome. Nakuha ba? <clears throat> Nakuha niyo? Nakuha class? Okay, bakit pa lang sumasagot? 
uh, wait lang may naman ako tubig. Now, sa next. Oh, nandito pala si, ano, si Jong Jong. Okay. Akala ko naka-PNPA si Jong Jong eh. <laughs> so, yan. Oh, yeah. Wala kayong face-to-face uh, -face na yung klase? Wala pa? Wala pa? Baka next week pa? Uh, uh, wala pa. Okay, mabuti. Nandito ka. <laughs> so, yan. Uh, sa 25 pa. Ah, okay. 25. Pupunta ako dyan sa Davao sa, ano, sa Friday uh, afternoon after ng klase natin. Okay. Um nandiyan kasi si ano si Dr. Goodison and Dr. Christy Fangon yung mga kasama ko sa Cream Coach. So magbi-meeting kami. Okay, nasa UM sila sa University of Mindanao. Okay, so ayan. So uh, magiging top notch ito si ano eh si Jong Jong eh kasi student ko to class sa MCRT. Then uh, makikita pa rin tayo sa final coaching no sa face to face. Then uh, ayan so ang dami tayo ang, <clears throat> ang daming pwedeng maging top notcher dito sa inyo okay so hopefully no manggagaling sa atin but of course we will um uh, praying for 100% okay dito tayo okay so meron tayo under the human behavior class pag-uusapan na rin natin okay amen so uh, as part of the uh, human behavior and victimology so of course uh, human behavior we have yung mga yung mga sexual deficiency or yung uh, abnormalities of course pag sinabi nating erectile insufficiency that is uh, impotent ibig sabihin class no erection sa pag sinabi natin or sa mga lalaki okay of course no erection erectile insufficiency then uh, we have the premature ejaculation ibig sabihin uh, the release of semen is too soon okay premature ejaculation ibig sabihin uh 10 seconds, uh, 20 seconds, uh, ano yan, na-release na yung semen. Okay, so that is the premature ejaculation. Okay, so premature ejaculation. Then next, uh, we have the retarded ejaculation. Kung ang uh, premature ejaculation class, the release of uh, semen is too soon, while the retarded ejaculation, yung release of semen is uh, very slow. Okay, abote ng 3 hours. Grabe naman yung 3 hours, no? Uh, uh, one hour. Okay. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na retarded ejaculation. Okay. The release of semen is uh, too slow. Then, we have the uh, arousal insufficiency. Ang uh, arousal insufficiency class, there's no excitement. Okay. Walang excitement. Okay. That is arousal insufficiency. No excitement. Then, uh, we have also the uh, orgasmic dysfunction. Ang uh, orgasmic function, there is no contraction of the vagina. Okay, there's no contraction of the vagina. So that is orgasmic uh, dysfunction. Then uh, we have also the... Uh, okay, balik. Balik ka na natin. Okay, so okay na ba? Wala lang tanong dito, class. Again, pag sinabi natin uh, erectile insufficiency, impotent or no erection. While the premature ejaculation, the release of semen is too soon. While the retarded ejaculation, slow release, erosion insufficiency, no excitement, orgasmic dysfunction, no contraction of the vagina. Nakuha na ba? Okay na? Okay pa ba kayo? <laughs> yes, coach! Okay, sige. Uh, akala ko natulog kayo. Ah. Walang matulog kasi it will, uh, kumaga, masisira yung utak ninyo, class, kapag natulog kayo ng umaga. Okay, next. Uh, we have the uh, homosexuality. Of course, pag sinabi natin homo, ibig sabihin one. Okay? Uh, ano ang contraction of vagina, sir? Ang contraction of vagina, ibig sabihin, okay, uh, there is no uh, penetration or yung, uh, balik natin, orgasmic dysfunction. No contraction of the vagina. Okay, ano yung orgasmic dysfunction? Ano yun? Sorry. Orgasmic dysfunction class. Ibig sabihin, di ba? So, yung uh, tanatawag na, you're familiar with orgasm naman, di ba? So, yun. Yung tanatawag natin na orgasmic uh, dysfunction. So, hindi hindi ma-re-reach yung ganong point. Okay? So, yun. Yung uh, orgasmic dysfunction. No contraction of the vagina. Okay? Sa, sa babae naman, di ba? So, yun. Orgasmic dysfunction. Okay. So, yan. Ah, uh, interesado talaga si Jong Jong sa ganitong uh, ano eh. <laughs> ganitong 
<laughs> discussion. Okay. Then uh, we have the uh, homosexuality. Okay. So, okay lang yan. Uh, dapat di ano class. Uh, okay. Ang homosexuality, ibig sabihin, homo, ibig sabihin, one. Then, of course, uh, that is uh, sex with the same sex. Ibig sabihin, uh, male to male. Okay. Uh, male to male. Uh, female to female. So, that is what they call the homosexuality. Di ba? Uh, sex with the same sex. Okay. That is homosexuality. Uh, ang sa male to male, uh, female to female. Okay. So, hindi ko ma, ano eh, hindi ko ma-imagine to yung sa female to female. Okay. Um, ano ba? Ano, ano ba yan? Ano yung ba yung uh, ano doon? So, parang niloloko ang ano, no? <laughs> so, uh, wag na tayo mag ano doon. Then, we have the transvestism. Ang transvestism class, ibig sabihin yan, cross-dressing. Okay? Ibig sabihin, cross-dressing. Uh, yung lalaki, uh, nagdadamit pang babae. Yung babae naman, nagdadamit pang lalaki. That is transvestism. Uh, nakuha yung class, of course, from the word itself, uh, trans. Okay? Transgender, di ba? transgender or transvestism ang tawag natin dyan na abnormal behavior or abnormal behavior. That is uh, fetishism. Okay, ang fetishism class, of course, that is uh, fetish, that is the sexual desire for an object uh, object or the body part. Okay, halimbawa yung, yung uh, partner ninyo, uh, girlfriend or asawa ninyo, so there is a sexual desire for an object or body part. So, halimbawa, yung uh, yung butt niya or yung breast niya <laughs> that is your fetish okay that is your fetish sa mga big sabihin um kumbaga that is uh, napupukaw yung arousal mo class towards the body parts okay yung ng partner mo nang or kahit sa ano na kahit uh, sino nga uh, ano yan yung sinong tao yan okay or uh, ba artista ba yan no? <laughs> then object Okay, ano ba yung uh, ano class example ng uh, fetishism, sexual desire for an object? Ano ba? Uh, magbigay kayo ng example. Baka alam niyo si ano si Jong. Sino pa? Sino pa may alam diyan? Ano, every time nakakita ka ng ano ng ng mannequin, ng mannequin sa ano sa mall, uh, nagkakaroon ka ng arousal, 'di ba? That is fetishism. Ano pa? Every time na nakakita ka ng ano? Ano class? Magbigay nga kayo ng ano, fetishism towards an object. Kasi we already discussed yung yung sa body parts. Uh, meron ba? Meron bang ganon? Meron bang ab- pero sa dami pa naman class na ano ninyo no? Sa dami ng uh, maging uh, sakit. Okay, tapos fetishism pa. Okay, so wag naman. So, nandiyan pa ba kayo? Baka parang nawala kayo ah. Sabihan niyo ako class kapag nawala ako. Okay, nandiyan naman. Okay, so yan. Ah, okay, so yan. So again, so yan yung tinatawag natin na fetishism. Of course, that is the sexual desire for an object or towards the body parts of the person. So that is fetishism. Then uh, we have the pedophilia. Of course, ang pedophilia, that is the sexual desire towards uh, children or towards minor. Kasi diba, pag sinabi natin pedo, that is a uh, minor child. Ang pilya naman, that is love. So that is uh, love, uh, love to have a sexual intercourse with minor or with a child. Then we have bestiality. Ang bestiality naman, of course, that is uh, sex with the animal. Okay, uh, sex with the animals. Ibig sabihin, that is an abnormal as well. Or that is abnormal uh, sexual condition or sex- sexual cravings of a person. Baka yung uh, uh, tinitira niya, <laughs> yung, ano, yung baka... Yung, uh, ano ba, yung kambing. Okay, that is bestiality class. Sex with animals, bestiality. Then uh, we have, uh, okay, ulitin natin. Before tayo proceed sa next. Again, ang homosexuality, that is uh, sex with the same sex. Again, yung male to male, uh, female to female. Then kasi kapag male to, fi- uh, male to female, of course, hindi na yan sabihin, hindi na yan tanatawag na homosexuality that is already normal. Transvestism, cross-dressing, yung lalaki nagdadamit pang babae. Yung babae nagdadamit pang lalaki, that is transvestism. Ang fetishism naman, that is the sexual desire for an object or towards the body part of the person. Ang pedophilia, that is the sexual desire or cravings mo naman, is towards children or minors. Ang bestiality naman, that your sexual desire or yung sexual cravings mo is towards 
uh, sa animals. Okay, nakuha na ba? May tanong dito, class? May tanong? Wala na? Wala po. Okay, sige. Next slide tayo. Okay, dito naman tayo sa autosexual. Okay, yung uh, autosexual, of course, sinatawag natin yan ng masturbation or self-abuse. Again, ang tawag natin sa autosexual or uh, masturbation, that is what we call the self-abuse. Then uh, we have also the gerontopilia. Pag sinabi natin geron, of course, uh, old, ang pilia that is love. So that is the sexual desire or that is the abnormal sexual desire class towards an older person. So yan yung tinatawag natin na gerontopilia. Okay? So next, we have the necropilia. Of course, ang necropilia that is the sexual feeling or the sexual desires towards the dead bodies. Okay? Uh, bakit no? Uh, meron namang buhay, bakit doon pa talaga sa patay? So of course, class, that is abnormal condition kasi pag sinabi na rin necro, that is uh, curbs or dead body. So that's why that is the love to have a sexual intercourse towards the dead body, that is necropilia. Then we have the incest, ang incest naman class, that is the sexual intercourse or that is the sexual craving within your closely blood-related or blood relation. So that is what we call incest. Then uh, we have the satyriasis. Ang satyriasis, that is the excessive or abnormal sexual craving towards uh, 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 towards female. Of course, that is the abnormal condition of the male. Kaya that's why ang uh, gamitin nyo dyan na acronym SM. SM. Ibig sabihin, yung uh, satyriasis that is applicable only for male. That is the excessive or abnormal sexual craving for male. Okay? So, gutom na gutom. Then we have the nempomania. Ang nempomania naman, that is the excessive sexual desire uh, of female. Towards male, of course, di ba? That is the sexual craving for female. Okay? So that's why SM and F, di ba? So kahit hindi nyo nalaglagyan ng acronym class yung nempomania, kasi nagkaroon na tayo ng SM dito, uh, ang tawag natin doon is isolation technique. No one to know the other one. Okay? So, gun, yan yung tanatawag natin na isolation technique. Okay, ulitin natin. Pag sinabi natin autosexual, that is uh, masturbation or tanatawag natin na self-abuse. Pag sinabi naman natin gerontopilia, that is the sexual desire towards an older person. Necropilia naman, that is the sexual feelings towards the dead bodies. Ang incest naman, that is the sexual intercourse within closely blood-related or blood relation, we have the satyriasis, that is the excessive or abnormal sexual cravings for male, while the nempomania naman, that is the sexual uh, urge or the sexual desire, or the excessive sexual desire or abnormal class ng female naman. Okay, nakuha ba? Nasundan ninyo? Nasundan class? Okay pa ba? Okay doki? Okay na? Bakit? Okay. Bakit wala sumasagot? So, uh, okay na ba? Yes, sir. Okay, so yan. Baka natulog kayo, ha? So, wag kayo matulog. <laughs> Baka na maka nakatulog kayo. Ang init-init, sir. Kaya nga, ang init. Kaya uminom kayo ng tubig, ha? Na, ano, dapat meron kayong tubig na, ano. Uh, Magtutuloy kayo sa final coaching sa, ano, sa Baguio. Che? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Magkita-kita tayo doon sa ano para sa national coaching. May libreng gamot doon, sir? Ah, uh, dapat ready ka sa ano, ready kayo sa sa weather kasi baka mabigla yung katawan niyo doon. <laughs> okay, then uh, January 3 na sa Baguio na ako, January 3 to 15. So, pero of course, magmi-meet pa rin tayo class online. Okay, kahit saan naman. Okay, so magkikita tayo. Uh, January 3 to 15 ay uh, nasa Baguio, uh, 15 or 12 na sa Baguio ako class. Okay, so yan. Uh, then, uh, kita-kits na lang doon sa mga pupunta sa Baguio. Sila, sila pa yung iba? So, ayan. So, sinabi ni uh, Dr. Peklika kahapon uh, na nag-usap daw kayo doon. Okay, dito tayo sa exhibitionism. Okay, uh, exhibitionist, of course, ang tawag sa'yo. Okay, kapag you expose some of your private parts, ibig sabihin, wala kang pakialam, no? Uh, every time na naglalaba ka, nakahubad ka, okay. meron mga ganun. So that is exhibitionism or uh, naglalakad ka na walang uh, walang saplot. <laughs> that is exhibitionism in class. Okay? You expose 
Okay, wala ka pag alam uh, when you expose uh, of your uh, you're exposing some of your private parts. Then uh, we have the sadomasochism. Okay, ang sadomasochism that is the combination of uh, sadism and masochism. Ang uh, active that is the sadism, ibig sabihin ang sadism class, siya yung nagbibigay or siya yung nag-inflict ngayon ng pain. Ibig sabihin, uh, before siya or nakukulfill yung kaniyang uh, sexual cravings or sexual desire kapag uh, sa partner niya uh, kapag uh, of course sinasaktan-saktan niya okay sinasaktan niya muna before yung actual uh, sexual contact so that is sadism while ang uh, masochism naman that is the passive one ibig sabihin uh, yung ano yan siya yung nagtumatanggap ng pain okay So that is what we call the masochism. Okay? Ulitin natin ang sa sadomasochism that is the combination of the uh, sadism which is the active while the um, passive naman of course that is masochism. Okay? That is a sadomasochism. Then we have the so sodomy. Ang sodomy naman of course that is the anal sex. Okay? The anal sex. Sodomy. Then uh, of course through the anus di ba anal ngayon. Then we have the uh, partialism. Ang partialism, that is the sexual libido on any part of the body of your sexual partner. Okay? So, yan yung tanatawag natin na partialism class. Okay? Uh, any part of the body of your sexual partner. Partialism. Okay? Protege. Ang uh, protege naman, ibig sabihin, that is the rubbing of uh, object or body parts. Diba? Maraming na ganito na nangyayari sa Pilipinas, no? Uh, kinikiskis nila yung uh, yung body parts nila okay yung uh, private parts nila yung ano ba sa mga sa mga jeep di ba marami kang napapanood sa sa social media sa sa mga jeep or sa mga bus okay uso yung protege of us rubbing of object or on the body parts okay uh, rubbing object or on the body parts of the person that is protege ulit natin pag sinabi nating exhibitionism exposing some private parts sa do masochism naman that there is the combination of sadism which is siya yung tumatanggap or siya yung nagbibigay ng pain rather while ang passive naman that is masochism siya yung tumatanggap ng pain while the sodomy that is the anal sex of course through the anus while the partialism the, the sexual libido on the uh, part of the body of sexual partner then the protege that is uh, rubbing the object for body parts protege okay so I hope it's clear Then uh, let's have the uh, voyeurism. Ang uh, voyeurism naman class or yung tinatawag natin na peeping tom, ibig sabihin you clandestinely watching people having sex. Ibig sabihin uh, ano ka, ano ba sa ibang uh, sa isang kwarto, nilagyan mo uh, binutasan mo sa or sa boarding house, 'di ba? Puso 'yan, yung voyeurism, there is a peeping tom, you clandestinely watching people having sex. Okay, na observe mo sila or naked that is a voyeurism. Okay, di ba? Meron tayong anti-photo and voy video voyeurism law. Then we have the uh, scoptopilia. Ang scoptopilia naman, that is the sexual pleasure by looking. Di ba? Sexual pleasure by looking. Tinitingnan ka pa lang niya, uh, pero um, nagkakaroon na ng um, release of semen. Di ba? Scoptopilia ang tawag yan, class. The sexual pleasure by looking okay, towards a person. Nakita mo yung uh, ano yung babae or lalaki so the then of course there's a sexual pleasure we sabihin um uh uminit yung katawan mo or there is a uh, response sa body mo there is coptophilia class sexual pleasure by looking then we have the triolism ang triolism naman from the words of course uh, trio or di ba Uh, sex with a three uh, with a three person di ba yung tinatawag na na threesome di ba triolism uh, pwedeng dalawang lalaki isang babae uh, dalawang babae isang lalaki that is triolism then we have the pluralism naman ang pluralism from the word itself plura plural ibig sabihin more than one ibig sabihin sex with many partners that is what we call plural pluralism Then uh, we have, of course, the uh, donwanism. Ang donwanism, that is uh, sex with many women. Okay? Uh, sex with many women. Of course, uh, ano to, lalaki. Kaya huwag kayong ma... Ano kasi? Uh, huwag kayong ma... Ano? Uh, 
tawag nito, kapag tinawag kayo Don Juanisen. Okay, so kasi ibig sabihin nun, uh, you have uh, sexual intercourse with many, many women. Okay, that is what we call the um, Don Juanisen. Okay, so ulitin natin. Ang uh, voyeurism, of course, that is the peeping phone or you are uh, clandestinely watching people having sex. Okay? That is uh, voyeurism. Ang scoptopilia naman, uh, your sexual pleasure by looking. Ang trialism, sex with three person. Ang pluralism, you are uh, having, having sex with many partners. Ito naman na, uh, partners. Okay? So, yan. Okay, palasalitan. Then we have the Don Juanism that is sex with many women. Okay, nakuha niyo class? Nakuha ba? Yes po. Okay, sige, next. Uh, on the next slide. Okay, dito tayo class sa Durham Rule. Okay, ang uh, Durham Rule class, it is a rule or intelligence. Pag sinabi natin Durham Rule, the accused is not criminally responsible of his unlawful act because yung uh, yung lawful act uh, yung unlawful act niya class is the product of the mental disease or the mental defect again pag sinabi nating Durham rule class the accused is not criminally responsible of his unlawful act if, if kapag class uh, yung uh, unlawful act na yon if the if it is the product of mental disease or the mental defect a defect ibig sabihin there is a problem when it comes to her uh, mental status that is the Durham rule then, of course, we have the MacNaten rule. Ang uh, MacNaten rule class, that is uh, the rule of intelligence pa rin kung saan niya pinalitan si Durham rule. Okay, ang MacNaten rule, that is the rule of intelligence in criminal cases wherein, uh, uh, whereas yung person is exempted to a crime when he or she committed if does not know the right from wrong. Ibig sabihin, class, hindi niya alam yung, sorry, yung nature Okay? Or consequence ng kanyang ginawa. Okay? That is the MacNaten rule. Okay? Ito na yung pinalit sa ano kasa sa Mac, sa Durham rule, yung MacNaten rule. But of course, class, uh, tanda niyo kapag specific ang tanong, kapag tanong sa board exam, it is the rule of intelligence. Kasi yung dalawa na to, class, ang tawag natin dito, rule of intelligence. Okay? So, uh, ibig sabihin sa utak yan. So, uh, pag sinabi natin rule of intelligence, dalawa lang yung tanda niyo nyo, we have the Durham Rule and the MacNaten Rule. Ang Durham Rule, the person is not criminally liable or not criminally responsible if yung lawful act niya class is a product of the mental disease or the mental defect. Uh, whereas, yung MacNaten Rule naman, the person is exempted to a crime when he or she does not know the nature of, of the case or of the crime committed, whether... What is right from what is wrong, hindi niya ba distinguish kung tama ba yung ginagawa niya or mali yung ginagawa niya. So basically, hindi niya alam yung nature ng offense or ng action niya. So that is the MacNaten Rule. Familiar ba kayo dito yung MacNaten Rule at, at Durham Rule class? Familiar ba kayo o hindi? Okay, very good. So, yan. Familiar si Hana. So, ang iba, familiar kayo? Okay, very good. So, yan. Ganun ang tanda nyo, class, ha? So, yung uh, rule of intelligence. Okay, next tayo. Okay, dito tayo, class, sa psychosis. Pag sinabi natin psychosis, class, uh, nanggaling yan sa tinatawag natin na psyche, which means uh, for mind or soul. And yung osis naman, ibig sabihin yan, for abnormal condition. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng psychosis. Ibig sabihin, your mind or your soul uh, has an abnormal condition. That's why ang um, psychosis, it is an abnormal condition of the mind. Tandaan nyo, ang um, psychosis, that is the abnormal condition of the mind. Kasi ang um, psyche, that is mind or soul, ang um, osis naman, that is for abnormal condition. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng psychosis. Okay? Nakuha na mga psychosis. Uh, hindi naman kayo mga psychosis, no? Dapat wala. Then, ang neurosis naman, ang neurosis, that is the class of functional mental disorder. It is a mental disorder class, ha? Yung uh, uh, neurosis. Kaya kapag sinabi kayo, baka may mental disorder ka. Okay? Ibig sabihin nun, baka may problema ka sa pag-iisip. So, wag naman, no? So, ang uh, neurosis class, the class of fun uh, functional mental disorder, 
without this organization of personality or loss of contact to reality. Okay, there is a uh, this organization of personality or the loss of contact of reality. Ibig sabihin, uh, wala na talaga siya pa sa pag-iisip or yung uh, yung reality or yung uh, kumbaga yung present times hindi niya na-absorb or feeling niya uh, lumulutang yung soul niya o may panyang utak. So that is neurosis. Diba? Kaya very important in your own. Then pag sinabi natin conflict, of course, that is the stressful condition of a person to choose between incompatible or contradictory alternatives. Yan yung tinatawag natin na conflict. Halimbawa, uh, nagkaroon kayo ng uh, conflict, nagkaroon ng uh, ng family uh, ng reunion o family reunion ninyo then tapos nagkaroon na or time na review niyo or map for niyo so that is there is a conflict arising there is a stressful condition ibig sabihin uh, mamimili ka ngayon between the choices okay between the incompatible or contradictory alternatives pwede mong piliin na uh, ah okay baka next ano naman meron pa namang uh, meron pa namang uh, family reunion next year pero ang board exam, every year yan. Or pwedeng, ah, every year naman ang board exam. Pero ang uh, reunion, baka, uh, ang uh, family reunion, baka minsan lang to So, yan yung tinatawag natin na conflict class. There is a stressful condition or kailangan mo talaga mamili between alternatives. Okay? Between choices. So, para, of course, mga pumili ka. So, whatever your choices, so dapat pang pangatawanan mo yun. Kasi, of course, uh, there is a uh, Uh, stress or uh, there is a um, stressful condition or stressful alternatives are rising. Okay. So, yan yung conflict. Next, uh, we have the coping mechanism. Ang uh, coping mechanism that is the uh, way people react to frustration. Ibig sabihin, there is a coping mechanism. Tanda nyo, class, every person has a different coping mechanism. So, wag mo sabihin sa isa na ang 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 liit ng ba, ang ang liit ng uh, ang liit ng problema bakit naiiyak ka ang liit ng problema bakit naapektuhan ka or uh, kumbaga hindi ka makatulog kasi class every person has different coping mechanism okay that is the the way people react to frustration ibig sabihin hindi mo pwedeng i-question yon kasi ganoon sila mag-react sa frustration eh at uh, Uh, akala mo sa sa sayo uh, malit na bagay yon sa kanya big deal na yon there is coping mechanism there is the way people react to frustration kaya di ba idol yung iba no kahit ang laki pala na pinagdaanan nila hindi sila naapektuhan okay so mas pinili nilang labanan or kumuha or mag uh, ano eh, confront yung yung problem so that is the coping their coping mechanism <clears throat> kumaga hindi hindi agad-agad basta-basta mapat mapapatamba that is coping mechanism. The way people react to frustration, but of course, every one of us has different uh, coping mechanism. Then we have the frustration tolerance. Ang frustration tolerance, that is the ability to withstand frustration. Ibig sabihin, kahit gano'ng kalaki yung problema mo or gano'ng kalaki yung pinagdadaanan mo, yung uh, frustration tolerance that is your ability to withstand frustration without developing inadequate mode of responses. Ibig sabihin, walang maapektuhan. Ibig sabihin, kayang-kaya mo, walang problema. So that is uh, what we call frustration tolerance. Okay? Sige nga, basahin mo ulit. Okay? Uh, nakalimutan ko pala kanina kasi every time na mag-proceed ako sa next slide, pinapabasa ko yung ganito. Okay. Si uh, Abdul Kadir Paskan. Uh, pwede mo basahin, sir? Ulit, yung, uh, yung uh, na-explain ko dito. <clears throat> Nandyan ba si sir? Uh, Nandyan ba? Wala. <clears throat> okay, baka nahiya. Huwag kayo mahiya, class, ha, kapag uh, pinapabasa ko kayo. Kasi it's one way to boost your confidence. Okay, uh, uh, sana naman si uh, Sanggawa, An Sanggawa, An An Sanggawa. Nandiyan ba si An Sanggawa? Uh, in, uh, not available. Okay, how about si uh, Anna May Siguma? Anna May? Anna May Siguma? Uh, hmm? Bako, bakit walang sumasagot? Narinig niyo ako, class? Narinig niyo? Sir? Ah, sige, sige. Okay, nandiyan si Anna May. Sige, Anna May? 
Pakibasa ko ulit. Lahat, sir. Uh, yes, hanggang sa frustration tolerance. Neurosis, class of functional mental disorder without disorganization of persona personality or less contact of reality. Conf conflict, stressful condition, person shows between incompatible or contradictory alternatives. Coping mechani mechanism, we people react to frustration. Frustration tolerance, ability to withstand stand frustration without developing an adequate model of responses. Okay, thank you. Okay, so yan class, again, ang uh, neurosis, that is a mental disorder, wherein there is a loss of contact to reality, while ang conflict, that is the stressful condition, ibig sabihin, mamimili ka between incompatible or contradictory alternative or choices, while the coping mechanism, that is the way people react to frustration, Pag sinama natin frustration kasi that is stress. Ang um, frustration tolerance, that is the ability to withstand frustration without developing inadequate mode of responses. Okay, so next. Okay, next tayo. Dito tayo kay uh, Andrew Valencia. Andrew Valencia, nandiyan siya. Uh, available ba si Sir Andrew to read the question? Okay. Wala? <laughs> Huwag kayo mahiya klas ha, na magbasa uh, kasi uh, ano yan, uh, ma, ma improve yung ano ninyo, uh, yung confidence, okay? So kasi ano lang. Uh, how about si uh, Ayen? Ayen? Uh, yes. Okay, sige, thank you. So ayan, nandiyan si Ayen. It is an established usage and practices carried on by traditions that have obtained the force of law. A. Custom. B. Tradition. C. Courtesy. D. Ceremony. Okay, thank you. Sige, class. What is your answer on the comment section? Then you explain that then after. Hmm, bakit pa lang sumasagot? Okay, very good. Okay, so yan. It is an established usages and practices carried on by traditions that are obtained by the force of law. Tanda nyo, class, kapag force of law, that is automatically, that is custom. Okay, so again, pag sinabi natin custom, that is force of law. How about naman pag sinabi natin tradition? Okay, ano naman yun? 
Okay, ano naman yung keyword na tinatandaan natin guys? Pag sinabi natin kasing custom, that is uh, any usages and practices carried on by tradition by the force of law. How about, okay, very good, John. Okay, that is unwritten law. Okay, so tanda nyo ha, ganito lang yan. Kapag sinabi sa board exam, it is an established uh, usages and practices uh, carried on by traditions that are obtained by the force of law automatically that is custom. While ang tradition naman, that is the uh, established uh, usages and practices carried on by traditions that have obtained by unwritten law. Okay, that is what we call the tradition. Okay, that is tradition plus uh, by unwritten law. Nakuha na? Ito yung difference between customs and tradition. Of course, we have the uh, courtesy. Ang pagsama natin courtesy, that is uh, what we call uh, you pay respect. Diba? You pay respect. So we have the courtesy call na tanataw natin. Uh, we have the promotion call when you are promoted on the next higher rank. Exit call. okay? Then matransfer ka sa ibang station or sa ibang uh, municipality. So uh, of course, yan yung tanataw na courtesy. Okay? So yan. We have the Christmas call, we have the New Year's call, and so on. Again, class, pag sinama natin courtesy, that is, a, uh, you pay respect to your superior. Then uh, we have the uh, ceremony. Of course, pag sinama natin ceremony, that is the formal occasion or the formal event na tanatawag natin. So meaning, so kapag sinama natin uh, ceremony, so basically, uh, ano ba, magkakaroon ng um, retirement ceremony or uh, merong VIP na dumadating si uh, uh, PNP chief. Of course, of course, that is what we call ceremony. Na. Again, ang sagot natin dyan, class, by the force of law, that is custom. So, nakuha mo? Nakuha ninyo? Nakuha ninyo? Yes, po. Okay. Good. Okay, so yan. So, uh, ngayon ka na nabasa yung, uh, yung chat ni, ano, ni Che. <laughs> okay, so yan. Sige, next tayo. Uh, next to answer, uh, gusto, ko ma gusto ko marinig yung mga boses ng mga ano natin. Okay, how about si, ano, si, ano, Jong Jong. Nandyan pa ba si Jong Jong? Yes, sir. Ah, sige, basahin mo daw. A set of norms and standards practiced by PNP members during social and other functions. A set of norms and standards practiced by PNP members during social and other function. A salute, B greeting, C courtesy call, D social decorum. D social decorum, sir. Okay, sige, thank you. So what is your answer, class, on the comment section? Okay, yung 18 na, kahit, uh, kahit sampung sagot lang or kahit uh, 10 answers, I will explain na na. Okay, so let's answer. Okay, so a set of norms and standards practiced by the PNP members during social and other functions. Of course, class. Ang sagot natin dyan, that is social decorum. Okay, yun yung mga etiquette na kailangan natin, di ba, during social decorum. 
Okay, uh, during social decorum class, di ba, maraming uh, sinusunod tayo doon. Of course, dapat before ka pumunta sa, sa gatherings or social functions, dapat nakaplansya muna yung, yung, ano mo, yung, yung uh, uniform mo or yung damit mo. Okay? So, of course, kapag nag-ipag-uusap ka, then kapag kumakain, so those are the social decorum class. Those are the set of, sorry, norms and standards okay, na pinapractice ng PNP members during social and other functions. That is the uh, social decorum. Then, of course, we already discussed what is courtesy call, di ba? You pay respect to your superior. Pag sinabi natin salute, okay, what is salute class? Okay, sa tingin nyo, what is salute under the standards? What is salute? Sige nga, isulat niyo sa comment section. What is salute? Okay, what is salute class? What is salute? Sa comment section, please. Okay, bakit tatlo lang? Most common principle in military courtesy. Okay, so ano ba? Sino pa yung isa na sumagwa? Okay, so pag sinama natin yung uh, salute class, of course, uh, tanatawag na din das, salute is the highest form of respect na tanatawag na din. The highest form of respect yung tinatawag na din na salute, ibig sabihin. But of course, those persons who, who are entitled for salute, ibig sabihin, hindi naman pwedeng yung matas na, na rank, okay? So yan yung, um, uh, uh, tawag nito, yung matas na rank yung magsasalute sa'yo, no? So that's why hindi pwede yan, okay? So very good, uh, uh, Corp Commander. Wow, maganda. Uh, Corp Commander pala si uh, Che. Wow, ang astig pala ni Che, uh, pwedeng ilaban sa ano. Sa, sa ngayon yung yung uh, gera okay <laughs> wag na ano okay so again pag sinabi nating salute that is the form uh, that is the highest form of respect of course not just in military but of course in other uh, ano <laughs> suntukan pala in other uh, agency as well okay so again ang salute that is the highest form of respect to those person intended for salute but of course kapag lowest mamal ka ay ba patrol ban ka patrol woman of course kailangan mo magsalute sa next higher rank sa yo then, of course, pag sinabi natin salute class, uh, aside from that, uh, sino pang sinasalutan natin yung next higher rank sa atin or those person that is intended for salute, aside from that, sinasalutan na natin yung ating, uh, yung flag of the Philippines, di ba? So that is the uh, salute. Okay, what is our greeting naman class? Okay, so what is our greetings in the PNP? Okay, so ipagpalagay natin. Ano yung greetings natin kapag nagigreet tayo yung uh, yung official or kahit sino sa within the organization? Ano yung greeting natin? Okay, so what is our greeting class? Okay, lahat sumagot ha, lahat. Ah, 
address greeting okay very good so of course last you will address them or you will greet them uh, always with sir ma good morning mom sir Okay, and so on. So, yan yung tanatawa natin ng greetings class. Of course, sabay salute, no? Kapag they are intended for salute. Okay, very good. So, again, the set of norms and standards practiced by PNP members uh, during social and other functions that is uh, what we call the court, the, uh, the social decorum. Okay? Ang courtesy call, ibig sabihin niyo, okay, respect. Ang salute, that is the highest form of respect. For those person intended for salute, greetings naman, of course, uh, mom and sir. Good morning, mom and sir. So, yan. Very good. Okay, next. Okay, pakiabasa after ni Chong, si uh, Chanin. Nandyan si Chanin? Nandyan ba si Chanin or wala? Okay, how about si, uh, si Stephen? Stephen? 19? Stephen. Nandiyan ba? Okay. So, baka wala. Baka BC or baka ano. Si, how about Latif? 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 Nandiyan ka? Uh, bakit walang sumasakot? Ano, anong nangyayari sa inyo? Si, ano, how about Jamaica? 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 Wala rin. Baka na malengke yung iba. How about Hana? Hana Binuya. Huwag kayong mahiya klas ha kapag pinap uh, pinapabasa. Yes, sir. Okay, sige. Uh, kinabahan ako baka na malengke kayo ha. <laughs> sige. Huwag kayong, huwag kayong kabahan kapag tina tinatawag kayo. Kasi ano yan. Para maboost yung confidence in your class. Then experience rin yan pagdating ng board exam. Ay, ganitong tanong. Pinabasa to ni sir. Then sinagutan ko to. So alam na alam yun. Sige. Hana, go ahead. Please, doctrine that imposes commensurate accountability to one who is tested with authority under Executive Order 226. A. Chain of Command B. Public Accountability C. Spirit Reports B. Command Responsibility Okay, so ayan, what is your answer? A uh, police doctrine that imposes uh, commensurate accountability to one who is tested with authority under Executive Order 226. Okay, so what is that class? What is that doctrine? Seven. Okay, how about others? Eighteen, nine. Okay, let's answer. Okay, so a police doctrine that imposes commensurate accountability to the one uh, who is vested with authority under Executive Order 226. Of course, class, uh, uh, halimbawa, sa military and sa PNP, of course, ang ating uh, the uh, chief executive, kapag may nangyari sa kanila, kasi di ba ang chief executive na yung president, ibig sabihin, whatever the result na kanilang operation, class, uh, there is an uh, accountable or there is a commensurate accountability to the one who is vested with authority. So, 
Ang tawag natin doon is command responsibility. That is a letter D. Very obvious naman, di ba? Ang command responsibility, of course, uh, uh, tinatawag rin natin yan na uh, superior responsibility. Ibig sabihin kung ano yung mangyari sa mga subordinates mo, you are still or you are accountable also. Tinatawag rin natin yan na uh, accountability, responsibilities, or answerabilities. Yan yung tinatawag natin na command responsibility. Then, ang uh, chain of command, of course, we already discussed that one in Leia. So, i-check nyo na lang sa mga hindi nakaabot. The line of authority and responsibility along which orders are passed is from, of course, from uh, top to bottom. Okay, then, of course, we have the public accountability. The uh, public office is a public trust. Okay, so, yan. So, ang uh, nag-lock-lock sa'yo dyan sa posisyon na yan is the public. So, dapat, of course, ang uh, ang service mo or yung uh, servisyo mo class, ibigay mo rin sa public. Hindi lang sa iilan lang. Then, we have the spread core. Ang spread core class, ibig sabihin that is the moral or the moral or the spirit of, sorry, of the body or yung tanatawag na na union. So, yan yung spread core. Again, so a police doctrine that imposes uh, commensurate accountability uh, to one who is vested with authority under Executive Order 226, that is command responsibility. That is letter D. Okay, so next tayo, please. Uh, no, very, ano to, a very basic question to. So how about si... Uh, after ay si Che. Okay, after ni ano si Che, nandiyan ba si Che? Yes, coach. Okay. It is the <coughs> sorry, may ubo ako coach to which na. Ah, patay. <laughs> ah, sige. It is the usual greetings of a person by uniform personnel as a sign of respect. A, sir, madam. B, salute. Si Bao, please smile. Okay, so ayan, what is your answer, class, sa comment section? Okay, of course, that is what we call the salute. Okay? Salute is the usual greetings of a person by uniform personnel as a sign of respect. Of course, ang uh, address natin sa kanila, Sir, Madam. Okay? Or yung tanatawag natin na uh, uh, Sir, Madam. Okay, good morning, Sir, Madam, or Ma'am. Okay, then of course, uh, hindi na natin pwedeng magbaw, no? A ano ka, uh, Korean, magbabaw ka, or Japanese. Okay, baka sampalin ka ng superior mo. <laughs> Hindi na tayo pwede mag-smile. Okay, so yan yung tinatawag natin na, okay, na, na salute, di ba? Ano ka, Japanese or Korean, no? Baka sampalin ka nila <laughs> kapag nakita mo yung superior mo. Uh, good morning, sir. Magandang ka, di ba? Uh, yung mga, no, mga <laughs> ano ka, Chinese, Korean, <laughs> or Japanese. So, hindi pwede yan, class. Hindi na pwede yung... Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, actually ganon. So ayan. So pero class ha, dapat salute talaga kapag nasa uniform service kayo. Pero kapag sa mga ano, kapag halimbawa sa kilala niyo lang, or okay lang 'yun magbow. Good morning, sir. Ako rin, ga, ginagawa ko 'yun kapag ano, nakita ko yung mga ano, halimbawa, kilala ko or mga mga sikat ay mga sikat yung mga mga deans or mga mga lecturers na mga mga matagal na yung mga legend na kapag namito sa kanila mag mag uh, ano ho <laughs> yes kapag kapag magbaw ka tapos uh, ano no 
kapag nasa camp ka, lalo na sa military, ay patay talaga. Mamasin, mamasin. Mamalasin ka talaga, class. Okay. So, yun yung uh, ano niyo. So, dapat, ano, uh, uh, hindi rin pwede mag-smile ka lang. Good morning, ma'am. Nakikita mo yung superior mo, no? yung CPNP. Good morning, ma'am. Uh, good morning, sir. Di ba, hindi ka na naman nagsalot, di ba? Baka uh, abutin yan. Baka huling araw mo na yan sa, ano, sa duty mo. Kaya, again, uh, ang salot to this, the usual greetings of a person by a personal as a sign of respect. But, of course, hindi naman pwedeng magsalot sa iyo yung mas mataas na na position or mas mataas na rank ko, di ba? So, yan. Okay, Sir Ma Madam, salute and bow. Okay, that is the uh, Sir Madam or Sir Ma'am, proper address. Ang just salute naman, gesture or the uh, usual greetings. Okay, so next tayo, please uh, read after me, ano, si, uh, mm -hmm. Ah uh, okay. How about Giselle? Si Giselle, nandiyan si Giselle. Yes po. Okay, sige, Giselle. All but one except one is not considered a PNP courtesy call. A exit, B promotion, C half mass, D Christmas. Okay. So, okay, what is your answer? Thank you. Baka may sumagot ng Christmas ah. Okay, natawa ako sa choices na Christmas eh. Sige, uh, tinanong sa board exam eh. Sige, what is your answer class? Sige, sa comment section. but one except one is not considered a PNP courtesy call. Of course, ang sagot natin dyan, that is a uh, half-mast. Okay, of course, half-mast class, that is the uh, ceremony where wherein uh, uh, it is a uh, it is a respect okay, class or pag class a member of the organization or the agency na namatay. Okay, particularly kapag uh, they contributed significantly on the uh, on the agency or on the organization. So, half last. Okay, pag uh, sinabi natin ethics, of course, class, uh, hindi ito kasali, pero of course, isasali natin uh, para malaman ninyo or magkaroon kayo ng idea rin. So, of course, ang ethics, it is the science of what is right from what is wrong. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng ethics. Kaya kapag nagkaroon kayo ng, uh, kapag na-encounter nyo sa board exam, yung tinatawag natin na police, uh, police ethics, That is the science of what is right from what is wrong in relation to the police service. So yan yung tanatawag natin na ethics. Pag sinabi naman natin na values, that is the expected conduct of a human being. So that is values. So uh, of course, uh, we already the, uh, the code of ethics. Uh, code of ethics, that is the guiding principles. Ano ba? Every organization, every, uh, every uh, profession, meron silang code of ethics class. Those are the guiding principles, the those and don'ts na dapat gawin at hindi dapat gawin ng isang public service or employee. 
Then we have the uh, police ethics, of course, that is the science of what is right from what is wrong in connection with the police service, that is police ethics. Um, camaraderie class, tanda nyo, that is the brotherhood, okay, that is the uh, camaraderie na tinatawag natin. Then, tanda niyo ang delicadesa, that is the uh, ability to sacrifice uh, one self-interest. That is the delicadesa. Okay, an example niyan, kapag when you are the chief of police in the municipality or the city, so dapat kapag may delicadesa ka, wag mong uh, gawin or wag mong gamitin uh, sasakyan or yung sasakyan na gagamitin mo kapag sunduin mo yung misis mo, dapat hindi yung... Uh, hindi yung sasakyan or yung patrol car ng station niyo Dapat, of course, yung sarili yung sasakyan. Kasi again, ang uh, delikadesa, kahit nandyan yung opportunity class, dapat matuto kang mag-sacrifice ng kanyang uh, your self-interest. That is your ability to sacrifice one self-interest. That is delikadesa. Then, ang patriotism naman, that is love of country. That is the love of your country. While ang... Uh, uh, that nationalism that is loyalty to your country so that's why class diba we we already discussed this in in lay as well ang uh, ang uh, acronym diyan patlo ibig sabihin patriotism love of your country nationalism naman loyalty to your country naloy okay so loyalty to your country ang um, tradition those are the uh, usages and uh, practices uh, because of uh, there is an unwritten law tradition ibig sabihin niyan na isulat while ang uh, custom that is uh, by force of law okay that is custom then of course we have the uh, the courtesy pag sinabi natin courtesy that is the manifestation or expression of respect to others so that's why we have the courtesy call uh, exit call promotion call christmas call new year's call those are the calls na meron tayo in the PNP service courtesy. Then we also have the social decorum. Ang social decorum, those are the set of norms and standards practiced by policemen during social and other functions. So those are uh, meron tayong mga etiquette na tinatawag or na sinusunod. Those are the social decorum. Yung uh, ceremony naman, of course, those are the uh, formal act or event as part of the social occasion that is the ceremony. Meron tayong uh, uh, Retirement ceremony and so on. Then we have the salute. Ang salute that is the highest form of courtesy. That is the usual greetings rendered by uniform members upon meeting and recognizing persons entitled to salute. So that is the highest form of respect or courtesy. Then we have the social graces. Ang um, social graces that is the proper conduct in dealing with the people during social functions. Social graces. Then, uh, of course, we have the Rook's Cup. Okay, the Rook's Cup. Uh, yung Rook's Cup, new policemen involved in illegal activities. Yung mga kaka, ano pa lang, kakatapos ng FTP or yung mga bagong police uh, in the police service who are uh, involved in illegal activities. That is the Rook's Cup. Then, uh, we have the Ninja Cups. Ang Ninja Cups naman, uh, yung mga policemen that was involved in reselling and recycling of seized and confiscated drugs tawag natin doon is our, our ninja cops. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, in which na i-turn over yan sa i-turn over yan sa court or turn over sa proper authorities, uh, they recycle, they sell it. Okay? Yun yung mga tinatawag natin na ninja cops. Okay? So, yun. Pakibasa nga ulit si um, uh, dito tayo ulit so kasi hindi, uh, hindi nag-response yung iba eh. Uh, baka nahiya. Huwag kayo mahiya class ha. Ba then, mamayang hapon dapat uh, ano na kayo? Comfortable na kayo. Okay, next, Bert, uh, Berto Daso. Pag-ibasa ko ulit, Berto Daso. Okay, Berto Daso, pag-ibasa. Nandiyan ba si Berto Daso? Okay, ulit. Eh. Sige. Courtesy. Manifestation or expression and respect to others. See, social decorum, set of norms and standards practiced by policemen during and other functions. Ceremony, formal act or event, part of social occasion. Salute, highest form of courtesy, usual greetings surrendered by uniform members upon meeting and recognizing persons entitled to salute. 
social graces, proper conduct in dealing with people during social functions. Rogues cop, new policemen involved in illegal activities. Ninja cop, involved in reselling and recycling of seeds and confiscated drugs. Okay, so thank you. So yan, so ganun class. So pinapaulit ko sa inyo para mag, mas ma-retain sa utak ninyo class. Again, kasi diba, repetition is the mother of all learning. So yan, yung tanan nyo, repetition is the mother of all learning. Okay, Dex, uh, dito tayo. Uh, okay, uh, actually, gi-insert ko lang to class. Uh, dito tayo. Si, uh, nandyan si, uh, okay, si Jong Jong muna. Jong Jong. Uh, nandyan pa ba si Jong? Or baka kumain na si Jong? <laughs> nandyan na ba? Nandyan pa? Yes, sir. Ah, sige. Okay, sige. This theory suggests that females and males are becoming equal in society in terms of family, politics, and education. This theory suggests that females and males are becoming equal in society in terms of family, politics, and education. A. Feminist theory. B. Paternalism. C. Liberation theory. D. Life force theory. Okay, sige. Uh, what is your answer, class? Sa comment section, please. Okay, da kailangan ko ng 10 answers uh, then after that i-explain ko. Hmm. Iba-iba yung sagot ninyo, ha? <laughs> Saan yung pinupulot yung mga sagot ninyo, class? <laughs> okay, so let's explain this one. Okay, pag sinabi natin, this theory suggests that females and males are becoming equal in society in terms of family, politics, and education. Okay, so what is that theory? Okay, so uh, ang sagot natin dyan is, uh, of course, that is liberation theory. Okay? So that is letter C. Okay? So sino yung nakatama, nakakuha ng tama sagot? Okay, very good. Sino nakakuha? Yung, uh, yung feminist theory class, tanda nyo, ang kasi natawag natin na feminist theory. Okay? So we already discussed that one. Yung mga hindi nakahabol class, i-check ninyo yung mga na-send na, na ko ng mga video sa, sa Telegram. So ang feminist theory, of course, class, uh, it explains yung criminology and criminology uh, uh criminology and criminal justice in views or as perceived by women okay yan yung tinatawag natin na um, sorry feminist theory okay then of course the light force theory uh, of course yung uh, merong pattern na sinusundan throughout their lives then the pattern na listen okay so yun yung uh, feminist theory dalawa lang actually class ang ano dito ang pagpipilian niyo feminist theory and liberation theory Again, ang uh, liberation theory, that is, uh, it suggests that females and males are becoming equal in society in terms of family, politics, and education. 
while the fa- feminists naman, they, uh, they suggest or they define criminology and criminal justice according or as perceived to women, depending sa perception ng women. Okay, that is what we call the feminist theory. Okay, so let's uh, explain uh, that. Uh, balikan nyo lang kasi yung mga video natin on the next ano natin. Okay, dito naman tayo. Uh, uh, after uh, okay. Si ano naman, sino pa yung uh, uh, yung uh, nandiyan kanina? Si uh, Chanin, uh, Chanin. Ay si ano na lang? Si Hana, Hana. Hana Binuya. Yes, sir. Okay, yan si Hana. Hindi ko pala na tao si Hana. Sige, again. In the power of control theory by Hagan, which father and mother share Similar roles in the workplace and power in the family. A. Feminist theory B. Egalitarian family C. Patriar- patriarchal family B. Matriarchal, ah, matri- matriarchal family Okay. So, ayan. What is your answer, class? In the power control theory by Hagan, which, uh, which father and mother share similar roles in the workplace and power in the family? Okay, what is theory is that? What is that? What is, what kind of family is that? Okay, lahat sumagot ha? Okay, so uh, we will end at 11. Then babalik tayo class uh, sa afternoon session natin. Magbibigay lang ako ng uh, another uh, another tawag nito another link Love is keep love Okay, so of course class, ang sagot natin dyan, so in the power control theory by Hagan, which father and mother share similar roles in the workplace and power in the family, of course, that is what they call the uh, egalitarian family. Okay, egalitarian family. So ibig sabihin, pag sinabi kasi natin egalitarian family class or egalitarian theory, by uh, by Hagan. So sinasabi doon, every gender or uh, every male and female have the same rule. Ibig sabihin, they are equal. Okay? In the workplace and the power of the family. So that is egalitarian theory that it was uh, controlled by or it was uh, coined or formulated by Hagan. So uh, kasi of course, ang feminist theory, we already discussed that one. Ang uh, patriarchal family plus, ibig sabihin, that is a kind of family wherein yung uh, yung masusunod or ang naglilid sa fa- sa pamilya ninyong class is the the father kasi patriarchal of family while the matriarchal family ng class of course ang uh, ang lead or yung superior or ang boss in your family is what they call the mother nakuha niyo yung class nakuha ba nasundan niyo again ang egalit- uh, egalitarian family that is uh, the father and the mother share similar roles and uh, authority and power over their family. So that is letter B, egalitarian family. Nakuha ba? Nakuha niyo class? Bakit po lang sumasagot? Nagugutom na kayo. Okay. So yan. Yes, coach! Okay, so yan. So, mm-hmm. Then, uh, dito tayo class. Dito tayo mag-end. So then, uh, after mamaya, actually natapos na natin yung sa human behavior, yung mga basic and kailangan ninyo palaman. So mamaya hapon, mag-hulsay tayo sa second part ng human behavior and victimology. Sa victimology na naman tayo. Okay. Sige, uh, pakibasa si ano na lang, uh, yung available, si Che na lang, si Che na lang siguro. Kasi yung iba nasa, nasa trabaho siguro. Okay na sir? Uh, yes, yes, naririnig. Unstablish and generally accepted moral values refer to A. Integrity, B. Morality, C. Ethical Standard, D. Authority. 
Okay, so what is your answer, class, sa comment section? So lahat sumagot, ha? kasi last question na to before tayo mag-end ng morning session natin. Lahat sumagot class, yung 18 or kahit 15 na lang. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is an established and generally accepted moral values that is uh, what we call the ethical standards. Okay, that is letter C. Tama ba? Sagot ninyo? Okay, very good children. <laughs> okay, sagot natin dyan, that is ethical standards. Okay, so again, pag sinabi natin ethical standards, uh, kasi pero tayo, di ba, kahit sa research, we have the ethical standards kasi of course, ang, ang expertise ko sa research talaga, class. Kasi doon nagtuturo ako research ang, ang uh, tinuturo ko. Ang uh, ethical standards, those are the accepted moral values na sinusunod natin. Ethical, okay? Kasi di ka, kapag hindi yan pasok sa ethical standards natin, ibig sabihin that is amoral or that is unethical, okay? So, it is not accepted. So those are the uh, accepted moral values ng, uh, of course, in relation to police service. Then pag sinama natin integrity, ibig sabihin, uh, pag mayroon kang integrity, you have the word of honor. Hindi ka na, hindi ka na, baba, uh, hindi ka na babayaran, kahit uh, hindi ka na susuhulan. So that is integrity. Ang morality naman, ibig sabihin, that is uh, uh, yung uh, nag-set class ng rules na yan or standards na yan is yung community yung mga manites, parites or mariposa sa sa ano niyo, sa community niyo, sa paligid niyo, morality. Kasi sila ang magsasabi kung tama yung ginagawa mo or mali. Is it moral or immoral? Pero wala namang rules or uh, laws na nagsasabi that is that uh, immoral. Okay? Is that moral? So that is morality class. Naka-base yan sa standards ng community na sasabihin nila or sila magsasabi kung tama yan or mali. Then of course, pag sinabi nating authority, that is, uh, tandaan nyo lang pag sinamin natin authority class, that is RTC or that is the right to command. Okay? So, ang authority class, that is RTC, hindi rin regional trial court, ha? that is the right to command. So, yun, class. So, ganito class ang gagawin natin, of course, uh, sa phase 2 natin. Uh, so, pag napatapos natin ang criminal, criminology and, and, and forensic science, ganito ang gagawin natin. So, lahat kayo will have a chance to uh, to speak of course, babasahin niyo yung tanong tapos i-explain niyo every choices para we come up with the best answer or the correct answer. Kasi pa, itetrain po kayo para pagdating sa board exam, wala nang magkakamali on how to answer criminology board question. Okay? Hindi na yung police na sabihin na integrity yan. A letter yung ispot dyan kasi wala na. Yun na yung sagot mo. Hindi, hindi yung agad-agad i-explain. May naano nga ako, 500 question daw. Okay, um, I stop share ko muna. Okay, 500 500 question daw class. Uh, 